Android NDK. Um, first of all, I, I will um, try to explain you what Sage is. I don't know if anyone knows Sage, but Sage is um, my boss is here, so I hope he, he doesn't mind. Uh, Sage is a boring company. <laughs> Um, and it, it's a boring company because um, it makes money. Uh, it's hard to make money with um, uh, bleeding edge technology. Uh, of course, Google and most of my fellow speakers work in companies that make money with uh, uh, new technologies, but this is a, um, uh, let's say, kind of old software company that makes management software. Again, a little bit boring. Um, it's um, a group that was born in UK. Uh, it's in 24 countries, three con continents. And it's quite old uh, in terms of software companies. It was funded in 1981. Um, uh, as I said, in three uh, continents. It, it, it has been growing by uh, acquiring companies, which is my case. I was acquired by Sage. Um, and it has roughly 6 million customers all over the world. Companies, not end users. So it's a little bit different from most of the targets of uh, the OS we are uh, uh, porting the software to. Um, also, uh, for you to understand, uh, it's the third biggest uh, ERP solution provider w worldwide. Bigger than this, only SAP and Oracle. Um, but in the small and business and medium uh, businesses, um, it's the biggest in the world. As I said, roughly six million uh, companies uses Sage software. Um, since it's a boring company, um, it, it's not easy for a company like this to do new stuff, to do to do, to use new technologies, to uh, try to be um, on, on the bleeding edge. Um, what we um, what we've done, well. Actually, what Sage then, when I was bought, that, that's uh, the, the, um, the, the real term, was um, let's, let's look at uh, one of the market segments and let's try and do something new. Um, we looked at the point of sale uh, area and we decided to do something that was multi-platform. Uh, this was four or five years ago. So we decided to do a Windows and Linux software. Um, the idea would be to have a software as a service architecture to be used initially as a desktop uh, software that would be able to, at that point, uh, uh, it was when, when Google was trying to, to do the Google Cloud Printer uh, stuff, we were looking at that, and most importantly, uh, we wanted to have support software that worked in low-end hardware, so that the hardware would cost less to the customers. Um, this was point of sale. Um, it, it, it's management software. It's not gaming or 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 um, social apps. It's standard management software. Um, and what we came up to was this. If if it runs, yes. No temp song. No song. No. The best. <laughs> No. Well, um, this this is the Would best. The <laughs> 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 
Uh, okay. So how how can I make this interesting? I'll make a sexist comment. Um, uh, when a boring company has to do something nice, it brings uh, girls on the beach. <laughs> um, okay, so we we've done that. It, it was a uh, Windows and um, Linux uh, software, and um, at some point. Um, someone said, um, well, there are devices that cost 50 euro and it would be nice if our customers could use uh, 50 euro devices to, to do this, to go um, in the street or in the beach and uh, sell whatever they, they, they want. Um, our architecture is really simple. Um, it has a front end and a back end, and it has a MySQL um, database. Uh, at the at the start of the Android project, the actual version was 2.2, so it was uh, uh, a few uh, years ago. Um, and for you to understand uh, better. This was our design choices. We decided to do this in C++ because we wanted to go uh, multi-platform. Um, and in, in the beginning, there, there was no Android. Um, and I, I think this is the, the, the biggest, um, uh, the, the most important choice that we made in, in the beginning to use the S, I don't know if you if you know SDL, uh, uh, it's uh, a graphic library, open source, multi-platform. MySQL, and we decided to use open source libraries only. So we wanted to go completely uh, multi-platform, so we had to have the, um, the, the, the source code to do the porting if we needed. Um, <laughs> As I said, uh, at some point, I would say a year ago, um, uh, we decided to, to, to use this under Android. And since we were using uh, C++, um, the, the, the best way of having a software that already had everything implemented, every business logic, everything implemented in C++, the, the, the best way of doing this was to use Android NDK. Um, at this point, I know that it was a risky um, uh, choice because the stats are really frightening. There are millions of applications in uh, Android Play, but only two thousand are uh, uh, built with with the NDK. So it, it's not really a a, a choice that you would make um, uh, in conscience. You shouldn't do this. Uh, in our case, we had everything implemented in C++, so it was just a matter of porting. And the NDK worked really fine. Uh, and there was not that much uh, work. Why was that? Because there was some guy uh, called player, I, I, I think, we, 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 we talked several times, that had a game ported to uh, Android, and 
he has on GitHub all the development stack ready to work. So we looked into that and we copied our source code to their uh, development stack. We said build, close our eyes, and it worked. So um, we did install Android SDK and uh, NDK, of course. We, we needed the, the C++ um, compiler uh, and a few more um, uh, tools. But actually, that was the trick. Um, the, the first decision of using uh, libsdl and some guy doing a game I don't know where, I, I, I guess it was Poland, um, made us have a, a software, a full featured software that was made in C++ uh, working in, uh, in Android uh, really quickly. Um, some changes were needed, but because we wanted to have more um, uh, intimate uh, uh, relation with Android. Uh, we have a few um, defines that allow us to do some something like uh, logging to to the console or um, uh, being able to access uh, the device with ADB and see what's happening. So we have a few um, uh, defines. Most of the code, I, I would say. 99.9% .9 of the code was unchanged, and we are talking about half a million uh, lines of code that worked instantly. Um, and the biggest thing we had to change was the database, because th there's no MySQL for Android, so we had to port the database to, to uh, SQLite. Um, one thing that really I was uh, uh, really amazed, I, I was not expecting that. This software, as you saw, uh, it, it prints, it, it, you didn't saw, but it interacts with different hardware like weight scales or barcode scanners. So the software interacts with hardware. And um, the beauty of Android for us is it shows that Android is Linux. Everything that we had to um, interact with hardware, like serial ports or USB or whatever, that was implemented for Linux, it worked straight on, on, on Android. Now, we, we did some, had some, some hiccups. Um, the first one was different um, Android versions have different behaviors. One, as simple as we, we were inside of the application um, opening a, a PDF. Um, different versions of, of Android have different permission um, uh, accesses. So we had to do things like, in one uh, version we had to pass the user, in another one we didn't. The problem with this kind of development is there is no documentation. So you have to try and see if it, if it works. I guess um, uh, when I, I think Andre uh, first um, uh, asked me to, to be here, he was saying, um, well, since Google doesn't have like um, teaching classes and things like that, um, this kind of, um, of uh, groups uh, will make people to share their doubts and share their knowledge, and that, that's what I'm trying to do here is trying to show you that there was problems and if there was someone else doing this maybe we could uh, ask 
and see if there was people with the same problem. Um, one of the problems that we met was this uh, uh, permissions. Then there was another problem. Um, I don't know if you use um, uh, uh, SDK, no Android Studio, but different versions of the SDK um, needed different Java versions, Java compiler versions, uh, different um, uh, C uh, compilers. And that was really bad because we do um, uh, an upgrade to the SDK and we have to refactor a lot of the code because they just uh, changed the, the, the compiler version. So be very careful if you use SDK, uh, try not to do any um, unnecessary uh, NDK upgrades. And then we had another problem. Um, I, I'm sure everybody heard of it. Uh, the art bleed problem, uh, mainly on servers. It was a major problem in Android. And that was when I knew that only 2,000 applications were uh, uh, developed with NDK. Because Google contacted us directly, saying, well, guys, you use OpenSSL. We, we use it for several uh, things. Um, and your OpenSSL uh, has the hard bleed, uh, bleed problem. Uh, we didn't knew that. They, they did. Um, so we had to recompile uh, OpenSSL for our project. But mainly, th this was the, these were the, the, the problems. Um, so what, what did we came up with? We came up with uh, running full-featured point-of-sale software in the Play Store that anyone can download and use it uh, legally if paid, of course. <laughs> um, and we did use two developers 16 weeks to have a full-featured uh, uh, point-of-sale uh, software. Um, it's a big uh, um, binary because it has a lot of uh, assets. The application itself is like uh, two megabytes. And it was the first Sage, um, I don't know if, you, if, you, if I've mentioned it before, but Sage has six million customers. And so it, it, it was uh, really important for us to have a first working uh, Android application within the, within the group. Um, and that's it. Uh, any questions? Yes. No, no, no. For for the, the Android port. <coughs> Th this included. Um, nobody had uh, any experience on 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 Android. This included knowing the platform, uh, choosing the the way of uh, porting it, looking for tools, all that. Since the beginning till. I would say the, the the first customer installed 16 uh, weeks. It's okay. Good good timing. <laughs> well, now now I guess the next uh, presentation is really sexy. No need for girls in the beach. Any more questions? Thank you.